explain how a galvanometer measures electric current. So a galvanometer is a type of ammeter. When we put a current through it, it gives us a reading of how much current there is. It works using the motor effect, right? The motor effect, of course, is the movement that we get, or the force that we get on a conductor, where a current flows through it and it's in a magnetic field. So, the needle of a galvanometer is held in place uh, at the zero reading by a spring. The spring is coiled so that uh, if we were to push the needle to the left or to the right, the spring would pull it back to zero, right? So what we need now is a way of using the motor effect to move the needle back and forth. When a current flows through the coil inside the galvanometer, it produces a torque on the needle opposing the torque of the spring. So the needle moves up. Now the further a string is and the further a spring is stretched, the harder it tries to pull the needle back to its starting position, right? So the angle through which the needle turns before it stops depends on the strength of the electric current, or rather the strength in the motor effect. The spring will keep stretching until it's stretched so far that it, uh, the force that the spring produces matches the motor effect, right? And at that point, the needle will stop experiencing its torque and will remain steady at a particular reading. And that reading, of course, will tell us how much current there is because we know uh, how much force there must be on the needle at that point.